Hello, it's Philomius the old Jepper. You know that I am a Swede. And in Sweden we have three vowels that know well the Danish have it, all the Scandinavians have it. It's three sounds that sounds like O E Ö. Now depending if it's a long vowel or a short one it sounds a bit different. And since the English language actually also have these ones, it's rather strange that the Swedish or the Scandinavian language is sounding so exotic. But it is more about our A ah than our O. Oh. As you probably already heard, I've mentioned the vowel O several times and still I haven't used any other language than English. Always, also, long. There they are. O is not lung, it's not also, but in Sweden it is. <laughs> Actually it is. <laughs> and then we have the the O with two dots. That one is a bit of a mystery. I, I really don't understand why we're using it, but I do like our little um, letter for it. It is simple, and it's also one of the few ones that sounds the same even if it's a long or a short vowel. Blöt. That's a long one, and the word I used was wet in Swedish. And then you have books, böcker. And then you can even hear that our e in the end of böcker is also like an ö. And you also have that one. It's a bird. Ö. There you have it. It's an ö. Ö. It's a deep down in your throat. And wherever I think about the ö, uh, I also think about the phrase It's a bomb. That was Peter Sellers who made that one famous in his Clouseau. His Clouseau in Persian 8. He also used that Hello in the fag. But I think Peter Sellers well knew that it wasn't French or Belgic. He knew that it was Scandinavian. It's rather fun to hear that we are using the same sounds for our vowels, but we haven't used the same letters for them. And that's rather neat. Your I is pronounced I when you're just using it separately, but when you're using it inside a word, you are using it like something else. We have the pronunciation E. Your double E. Double E. And <laughs> it's, it's rather strange. But it has to do with our inheritance. We have lent of each other for so long. I think it started back in the Vikings age even. When we gave the Celtic the uh, arm, hand, legs, eye, and so on. It, but we didn't have the the uh, new vowels back then. We didn't have the O, A, and Ö. That is an A with a ring, an A with two dots, and an O with two dots. We didn't have them, though. So you didn't inherit them. And suddenly we are changing our... I think the last big change we made in Sweden was in 1910 when we suddenly start to um, spell very strange from before. We had some very German-like spelling before 1910. It all started way 20 years back. But, and it was actually many of the authors of that time that made those changes plausible. So every time I hear it's a bird, I know that you are saying, uh, you are sounding like a Swede. <laughs>
Oh dear. Thanks for listening. Bye.